Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty, everything cranked up to the maximum. And it is time for Hourglass number two, kind of the final lack of a three step flashpoint. And uh, we're still trying to salvage an out of inner sphere old technology that is super valuable. Today we gotta defend the base against Black Widow, a enemy mercenary. In order to do that, how about we're giving Lily a go on the blackjack? That'll be fantastic. And yeah, those guys are not hurt enough yet. So might as well send them on another mission and see how well it is going to go. Let's go, guys. Good. Let's drop and deploy. Hogbite is leading the team. Tygen, Lily, Mox and Hogbite. And we're, as you can see, right back at the standard desert facility. Yodaburn wants us to save the day and we are happy to comply. We're doing the sort of standard loadout here with moving into all directions comes at no surprise that the enemy will come from multiple angles nine rounds and we got to protect as many buildings as we can black widow trying to to make it a bad day for us. Ready to rock. Hmm. This guy here has forty percent damage reduction. What are your orders, Skipper? Let's use Tigan first. From Thunderbolt. There is a bit of a Vindicator over here. Got a lock. One that just uses evasion. Got it. Moving up on our Black Knight. Full center hit, including hit to the head. Our Thunderbolt moves a tiny bit back and let's try to make his day miserable. That worked very well. And once you got us, uh, once you start focusing on an enemy, you gotta commit, and that's exactly what we're doing. Pilot injured, guy's completely knocked down, and has like three hit points on the torso. So with a multi shot, we should be able to kill it. Wolverine moves in and tranches. The Cicida is not going to be much of a problem. Shouldn't be. I hear ya. Orders. Move order received. All right, multi-target. Let's start with this guy. Three hit points, and the Cicida. Good, so that's one down. And the Cicida has a bit of stability problems. Fantastic. Good. The Black Knight took a shot, which is what I was hoping he would do. And we're going to retaliate exactly on that. Our Black Knight moves up. Precision strike, let's try to hit his leg. Special delivery. 
The okay. lake is almost open. You got it. Thunderbolt moves it. up. And Hogbite will hopefully shred quite a bit of armor. That's what I'm talking about. Structure expo exposed, heat sink destroyed. Up, got right, the Cicida is a problem. But if it continues targeting our mechs, then that's actually not a pro not so much of a problem, to be honest. However, it scouts out the area for the other LRMs. And this medium building is almost down. So we gotta do something about it, right? Gotta do something about it. Cecida needs to die. What can I do for you? Black Knight, however, needs to die as well. Moving back so way. that we can engage these guys. Already planning a bit ahead. PPC destroyed. And there's more where that came from. Just out of curiosity, yep, we can melee attack the guy. Location Thunderbolt unloads completely onto the Black line, Knight. Oh, nice hit on that one. Nice hit. Pilot is knocked uh, down, which is good. Damn. Moving over. Again, we're transitioning to that uh, left hand flank. Fantastic. Target down, Commander. Good, and now it's a matter of dealing damage efficiently. Uh, while smashing our heat, so melee attack it is. Engaging physical attack. Enemy mech critical damage. Okay, at least uh, that damage was not done to buildings. We could straight up attack the rear. With a melee attack or we're just using our precision shot and that guy goes down in one instance. Fantastic. Hunchback has made a critical mistake. Good. They could only eliminate it because the Cecida was still scouting for them. Almost got that one as well. That's damn close. Right here. On the move. All right, into the back of the Cecida. We're just using the entire arsenal. Mainly because I didn't want another heavy mech or someone with two initiative to take advantage of the situation. 
Good. Charging over. I hear ya. Going turbo. It's go time. Got a couple of mechs coming in from the west. Seems that there's going to be the new hotspot. Good. Black Knight moves in. Let's use some vigilance here. Got a hunchback and a centurion. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go with that hunchback. Being moderate on uh, the heat. Still left a bit yeah. for potential next round of attacks. Consider it done. Thunderbolt moves up. And let's hopefully destabilize the guy. Ah, not enough. Not enough. Orders. I was hoping we could destabilize him so that he would lose his entrenched status. That was not the case. I'm there. Got another vigilance. Firing. Okay, fantastic. And Hogbite just sprints. Oh, decreasing yeah. that heat. Okay, fair enough. Bring it on, baby. Yep. But you gotta know... If you play with fire, you might get burned, right? Good, more vigilance, because we're going to be the main tank here. You can already see that. I got you. Anspeg directly wanted kind of a confrontation. Centurion, on the other hand, apparently is a bit more modest in what uh, they are trying to do. Good. Black Knight moves up. Full unload. And the hunchback is paying an expensive price. On my way. He wanted to kind of muscle us down. And then beginning to realize that he had maybe bitten off more than he can chew. All right. Hogbite is now finally with everybody. Only problem could be kind of uh, moving into the back here. It wouldn't be the end of the world because the Centurion doesn't have the power to blast us. Confirm. Huh. Let's put that on reserve and let, let us see what, what they are going to do. All right, strange. Waiting for orders. Thunderbolt moves over. Can we get that hunch back down? That hit something good. Okay, well. For whatever reason, the Hunchback didn't really want to fight back. Doesn't matter. We're going to execute him. Hogbite had uh, fully um, loaded or fully ready heat. And now it's time to attack the Centurion from the back. Waiting for orders. 
And guess who just lost their entranced the status? And whilst we're at it, might as well add a bit insult to injury. You're not gonna like this. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Okay, because we're going to act before the Centurion can. Alright, very good. Good. These guys are sort of running around the camp. And if they feel that that's a good idea, then of course they are entitled to do that. Full throttle. Ready for order. Understood. Moving fast. I think it's an absolute horrible idea because they are wasting a lot of time. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Clever, clever, little sneaky bastard tries to get into the base over here. All Confirm. Okay, so Mr. Wolverine. That was really a mistake, my friend. Inflicted some heavy damage. Orders? Affirmative. Good to go. Double time. Oh, what? We're already done? Okay, so it was kind of a hail. Uh, Merry maneuver from uh, from his side. Timer ran off and they were not able to capture it. Yeah, I think again, if if they are going for the base and just ignore you, by going back into their rear side, we had so much damage and agency. The first hunchback, for instance, just got blasted. Black Knight couldn't really do much. Yeah, there, we're, we're not getting any special loot here, so might as well just take all of the mech parts and call it a day. And I'm pretty sure that there is a third mission on the same flashpoint. But we got a few extra mechs here. Most of them we need to store because they will just cost extra money. So the Black Widow hasn't really lived up to uh, her reputation. Oh, has that already been it? Hell yeah, that has been it. Look at that, we got the Bull Shark. Oh my gosh, and the bull shark comes, by the way, fully equipped, like, this, uh, this guy is well, very well equipped with a morser and uh, a lot of other stuff. Got an exchanger that is fantastic, gom system that is great as well, a couple of extra, extra items. Oh yeah, well, that was so worth it. One of my favorite mechs, just because he looks a bit like the bull, char uh, bull shark and is quite fun to play. So, store battle mech, yes. Uh, let's take a look at uh, this baby. And like I said, he comes with a lot of lost tech. So, it in itself, even with the stock loadout, I found relatively competent or, uh, already. It has the thumper cannon which is kind of that massive artillery that I was talking about. And you will see in some of the missions, because we're going to use this bad boy. There's no way around it. So with the Thumper Cannon, you will see like it, it launches this more Mercer. And 
explodes plus uh, dishes out a lot of damage. It comes with three dual heat sinks. Fantastic. Uh, we definitely got to work on the ammunition. Never put ammunition in the center torso. Comes with the UAC 5 Plus, which is an okay damage. The LBX 10 uh, Plus definitely is a fan a fantastic damage. And what are we clocking? Oh, this guy has 500, 500 damage thanks to the extended range medium lasers as well. Like I said, even in his stock loadout, he's doing a nice job in dealing with all of that. From an equipment perspective, definitely want to give him a comm system. Actually want to give him like a comm system triple plus, but it is what it is. An exchanger um, is great because that'll reduce the heat by 20 just by itself. And we got to work on this guy's armor. So how do we optimize the rest? A UAC 5 is 8 tons. And we still got uh, have a couple of uh, rockets left over that are underutilized. So in terms of that, an SRM six plus plus ish would be fantastic, but we don't have that yet. But that's something that we can get from a pirate uh, from a pirate system but yeah originally we were at like what um 500 and 536 if we were to drop eight tons here 536 was the name of the game We're at 500. We need to up the armor quite a bit more because I like my mechs very sturdy, able to uh, deal with a lot of punishment that they might be taking. But the USC 5 Plus isn't bad in any shape or form. It's actually quite good. But you can't have it all, right? It just doesn't work. But what we can do... We could get rid of a bit of the ammunition. UAC 5 is like what? 15 rounds at 30. So one UAC cannon is okay with that. I almost want to build in just a tiny bit more damage. But I, I really think that having better heat efficiency here, number one, really good heat efficiency now. And number two, more reliable damage is going, and more armor is going to play out well. So that is good. How much is this going to wait? Yeah, it's not really moving the dial or the needle a lot. I think we're okay. One thing that we might want to look at is a ballistic system. PTS plus. But that already costs two in terms of weight. The medium lasers are, again, fantastic. 
it just create a lot of heat and that's even er medium lasers plus plus with extra damage these are almost the optimal weapons and they are so incredibly good i wish we would have more of uh, those bad boys but yeah even the uac 5s are great problem with uh, ballistic weapons in the arms is you typically want to have a pause because the aim goes down uh, due to the recoil when those weapons are in in the arms of the mac so that's why the original setup is with the uac5 on both sides just completely like alpha striking and then essentially cooling down using only uh, the medium lasers i think we're still fine like all of that is good we could take just the tcs here for a bit more accuracy for now not the end of the world we can always modify it the uac5 is good don't get me wrong that's 90 damage right there for eight tons well, that's a pretty uh solid trade-off here we're having like 88 points of damage does this here has plus damage oh it reduces it by a ton okay that makes sense 90 damage for eight tons and here we do have 90 damage for 10 and a half tons in stability damage that is surprising the efficient damage here the uac5 can't really get rid of the thumper artillery that just takes 10 um that just takes 10 weight i think despite the efficiency of the uac5 which i can build into a different mech all of this overall makes a more efficient mech we're looking still at 450 um damage plus the thumper cannon and full armor so it is a good mech it takes only two days to get the guy uh, ready to roll full shark such a good mech let's manage the tasks here and that is that guys uh let's maybe fill the rest since you have waited patiently let's fill the rest with a uh, short assassination uh, mission in the lowlands just to get those pirate reputation up uh, even further eight or 13 well 13 isn't bad Might as well sneak in 12 instead of uh, 13, like that's plus 50% reputation. And we're almost at 80, right? So this mission and the next one should be enough to get us there. Some bonus experience and we're just going to farm that. As always, I'll do the other uh, two missions behind the screen. Because this is just reputation farming. And I want to... Uh, do a few more like higher level missions soon uh, which we're currently preparing so we'll do this mission and uh, then we're going to look for the next potential target where we want to go and then i'll cut it and we'll uh, we'll re-enter uh, when i am at that target good let's land that bad boy and see what the pirates have asked us to do it's a simple assassination mission so it can't be that difficult right acknowledge commander you betcha and this looks like an we just gotta plan. destroy two lances plus the government noble well that looks fantastic so we're taking our way around the edge i want to fight like behind here there's a lot of vision barrier that could work in our favor. You got it. No problem. And given that we do have a couple of LRMs, it could indeed work quite in our favor. We 
We've got an unknown on sensors. Doesn't surprise me at all that we're going uh, that we're seeing a few enemies moving in. I'm there. We are sensor locking and first enemy is a hunchback. Okay. I hear ya. Why are they always deploying hunchbacks? Like every single mission. There is a Centurion. Fantastic. Oh boy. Alright, we do have a few shots and light, very light damage to those guys. They are retaliating, but we got 40% damage reduction, so we're fine for now. Phoenix Hawk is overcooking almost. Yep. And the hunchback here is surprisingly running away. Question mark. I'm rolling. Thunderbolt. Let's precision strike this bad boy. Engaging target. That hit something good. Waiting for orders. All right, again, fully focusing on the hunchback. Report critical hit. I secret him, thrown him to the ground, and now we can finish him. Hopefully. What can I do for you? All right, Black Knight moves up, Vigilance, because I feel we're still going to be the main target. And let's just fully unload. Punchpick still not down. Another hit like that and you're toast. All right. Fantastic. It's go time. Good. Let's let them come a tiny bit closer. It's by the way another medium lance approaching us. You hear me? Luckily we used the 60% damage reduction because that means all of the missiles that normally would uh, deal 4 points of damage are now dealing exactly 1. Good. Let's continue the just let them act first. Centurion almost naturally put himself into a worse position. Nice try. Kind of begs um, us to kill him next. Phoenix Hawk, typical AI mistake. Jumps in, has a lot of um, defensive flips. And then for whatever reason, just moves. Zero defensive flips in the opening. That guy is even worse off than before. Confirm. Okay. I got you. Moving up.
I think we don't even need... Well... That'll also reduce his initiative, so... I just convinced myself that it is not a bad idea. Mox will try to destabilize. Plus, potentially also hit at the same time. Confirm. All right, highly, highly unsteady now. Uh -huh. Still moving up. Vigilance, because I think we're going to be the main target again. And let's kill Tell this phoenix. Yeah, critical hit. All right, moving in. And full unload. Okay, cool. Two rounds, two kills. So far, the focus fire works out well. The two Centurions, they are relatively well armored just for their size. So I tend to put them a bit later into the uh, into the pecking order. The Hunchback definitely is a high priority target. Because the reality is they do have like one heavy laser, one medium laser, and a couple of and a couple of SRMs or LRMs. In this case LRMs. So that in itself doesn't deal a lot of damage. All right, moving up, vigilance. And let's hit this guy. Thanks to the distance, we could also hit it with our light lasers. Mox will deal stability damage again. Position confirmed. Moving back. Gotta be a bit careful not to put in too much heat. There's the stability you. damage. Moving further back, just to not be the target every single round. Time to die. Did you see that? Did you see it? Okay, that was rather brutal good move over try to hit it potentially not worth it let's just precision strike to get him down to our initiative and then next turn we're immediately precision striking again that way he will not be able to act and we potentially can kill it without any counterplay from his side. We got a couple of LRMs coming in. Commander. Right, here's the second precision strike, just as I mentioned. If you manipulate the initiative well enough, the enemies will have a problem dealing with that. Waiting on you, Commander.
Because now we can act yet again. And he has little that he can do about it. All right, Mox moves up. Let's just hit him with all we got. There we go. Okay, cool. Mech destroyed. I hear ya. Moving back and just saving heat because if I mo would have moved up, all of them would have gotten their turn before us. And I'd rather let them move in and maybe not even find us. Waste their precious turns. This is, by the way, the target of the VIP, so to speak. Copy that, Commander. Good. Let's just start with this guy here. Looks like a decent target. Completely exposed locusts. <laughs> okay. So we got a rifleman. Interesting. Okay. 6% um, defense. Here we go. Want some more? Huh? Wow, that locust has just eaten an entire alpha strike. But it's almost down. Okay, cool. What's up, Commander? Piece of cake. shot. This should be plenty to deal with the locust. Yep. And his friend over here. Just for shits and giggles, let's try to kill this guy. There we go. Fantastic. Enemy mech destroyed. It's go time. That's like what a crap? And a rifleman. Yeah, crap and rifleman. Okay. Okay. Good to go. Moving back. And let's target. just hit the crab here. It's going to be our next target. Skipper. Confirmed. Moving up. This guy is a bit more difficult to hit, but we should be fine. Warning. Detecting mech warrior injury. Ooh, Hawkwild received a headshot. Interesting. Well, there are pros and cons to this situation. While Sokber bite us out, it'll give others the option to step up. Engaging target. 
Tech Warriors, show them what you got. Ready to rock. But we don't want another shot from the crab, so just going to lower its initiative. Or might as well just completely kill it. I've offered the Thunderbolt here as a better target so that Hogbite wouldn't continue to get the rest. I'm catching some serious shit here. Waiting for orders. Yeah? What can I do you for? On my way. All right, destabilize it and reduce the initiative to one. Commander, affirmative. Lily is moving up. Got a lot of structural exposure here. So that's another knockdown. Makes it more difficult for him to... Oh, never mind. Oh, that wasn't even the target. Okay. Location confirmed. Coordinates received. That was just part of the ambushing force. Okay, fair enough. Right, Commander. Location confirmed. Copy that. On my way. Good, so we got one enemy. Consider it done. It's go time. In a medium mech, okay. Or in a heavy mech with extra initiative. Yep. Good to go. I got you. Full throttle. Something I can do. Good, let's move up and the idea is to again destabilize. Confirm. And hopefully get him down. Cicida is always a problematic mech. It lends itself so well to fleeing. So we've got to be careful. Rather get a little bit closer. Good to go. Up and personal. On the move. Before scaring this guy. Let him make an attack. It seems to me that this uh, gentleman does not want to do an uh, want to make an attack. Matter of fact, it seems to me like he knows exactly what's up and is just waiting for us to like attack him. To then move away. Well, well that's to go. Finally, just now he's no longer protected. Good to go. Moving up. Fully hitting the guy. And yep, that's a one shot kill. Fantastic. Mission successful. Very good. So the only things that are remaining now besides uh, collecting big fat loot is to double check where we want to get next. Then I'll do all of the missions in the background just to get us uh, that sweet, sweet reputation going. And we're hopefully going to um, do some four plus school missions. Hope is out for good for now. 
and we got like one piece of loot nothing that is particularly sticking out like the rifleman is fine don't get me wrong <laughs> but it's also not the best make ever But then again, it was never about the loot. It was about getting some more influence. We're almost allied with the pirates, which is good for a pirate themed run, right? Back online. Good. Rifleman is in our mech bay. We always got to clean this one up. Because every single mech costs, even if they are completely empty, costs us extra upkeep and we really don't want that okay so let's look at the star map so that you guys know where i'm going to fly this one here is interesting but we're potentially not going to do it the reason why i wanted to do it is this has a pirate black market so i am prioritizing systems with a black market Two and a half. That's against the pirates. And we've worked hard to not... Uh, to not uh, fight up there. So we've actually moved down here. That's a two challenge uh, system. Can we get something a bit harder, please? Like, what's... What's up with three and a half goals? Is this here an option? Uh, not so much, not the right factions really. This one here looks promising. Two, potentially three good factions that we could work for. Okay, not bad. What else do we have on the four school terrain? Two and a half, two, two and a half, two. Okay, four school. Right factions, that would make uh, sense for us. Former Star League presidents, that is great. Yeah, that might be the next sector that we're that we're going for. We need to be more than just liked in order to work for the Capellian Confederation. Let's just double check that. Like means. Maximum contract difficulty four. Yeah, but four and a half is potentially also there. So we got to get friendly to make sure that we're also having those four and a half full missions. So I'll make sure that that happens. Of course, can't really do anything about these guys at the moment. And since the star map doesn't really give us a option a tournament of champions doesn't help us with any uh, reputation really over here it's a strict no-no i am not working against the pirates no okay well it seems that this here is just what we need two factions that we can work for potentially the free world league board off in the future as well three and a half days here uh, three and a half schools here also not bad but yeah let's start here at ender max former star league is definitely interesting only problem that i'm seeing here is no it's not a specific planet so it just looks red but it could be any biome good that brings us to the end of uh, today's episode if you like mech warrior or any uh, battle tech oh, yeah. mech warrior or anything uh, akin to that content feel free to leave a comment down below and as i am you, finishing all of the mech warriors here i wish you a great day and see you all in exactly two days bye bye